probably be aware there's some figures released today suggesting there's been a, a surge in suicides amongst former uh, military personnel. And you run an organisation in this field. Can you tell me a little bit about what ECRIS is and what is it that you guys do? Yeah, sure. Thanks for having me on. Uh, ICARUS is a mental health treatment and support charity for all UK uniformed services, veterans and their families. Um, so basically we take people from essentially, if they are crisis point, right the way through to being self-maintained, whether that's with us or helping them access services elsewhere. And what kind of people are coming to you looking for help and what kind of state are, are these guys in? Uh, we've got people from all walks of life really. We've got uh, young um, service leaders right the way through to veterans of Aden. Um, so there's quite a broad brush really. Um, everything from anxiety, depression, struggling with the transition from military to civilian life, uh, right through to the you know, extreme cases of PTSD. Um, so yeah, it's quite a mixed bag. And there does seem to be, according to these figures, a, a steep rise in the amount of people taking their own lives. Now, can you explain what's happening here and what's, what's causing that? Yeah, well, I can try to. Uh, it's, it's from our perspective, there's a, there's a mix, really. There's more reporting on it, mm -hmm. so that's increased the numbers. Um, and there's just so much work being done by the military and has been right through from Iraq and Afghanistan and where kind of trauma used to manifest itself up to 14 years later, um, typically around the Falklands era, now with the, the, the tempo of operations in Afghanistan, that's been reduced down to five years because they're doing back-to-back -back tours. Mm -hmm. So the work rate has been phenomenal and quite horrendous. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's really increased the numbers as well. And the whole military charity sector is quite fragmented, so it's very difficult. So the, these guys who are coming to you, have perhaps they've been looking for support and not been aware that it's, that it's out there for them? Yeah, it's it's really it's kind of quite a confusing landscape out there for in terms of mental health support for veterans. The NHS, as wonderful as it is, is quite slow and cumbersome in terms of accessing at times. Mm -hmm. Like any big organisation, it varies from region to region, um, and you know they do phenomenal work, but just not necessarily as quickly as some of these guys do. Veterans are very proud, stubborn individuals, mm -hmm. uh, and it takes an awful lot of guts to get to the point where they can put a hand up and ask for help and then mm. when that help isn't there and they go round and round and it keeps happening and happening and happening and they get desperate. Mm. So what would be your message to someone out there right now who's, who's struggling with their mental health? Just give us a call, get in touch via the website or social media, we can and we will help. We will, somebody will be in touch with you uh, within 12 to 24 hours and you'll have an, a, likely have a therapist assigned to you. Uh, in around about 24 hours, who will then get in touch with you to to get things moving mm -hmm. at whatever pace is right for you. Brilliant. Sam, thanks very much.